Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today what I have for you is I'm going to do a little teardown of this uh, Fernisi HSO on soldering iron. Uh, this is the one that uh, got blown up due to an incorrectly wired pigtail that they sent with it. And uh, I covered that in a video. I'll leave a link to that up here. Um, it might make more sense if, uh, if you go see that video first. But anyway, I'm going to try and, and take this apart and see what's in it and maybe uh, figure out what it was that got destroyed. So we'll take the cap off it. We'll uh, take the tip out and that can go with my other tips. There's no screws that I can see here. Anything under there? No, nothing under there. So I am guessing that uh, this little cap here at the back can be spudged off, but I don't know. So this may go nowhere very fast. There we go. So that's off. Now that that's off. What do we have? Well, I wonder if it possibly, if this, if this can come up here. Is this glued on or? This right thing here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just stuck on with sticky tape. So that, these can come out. Now, how do we get into it? Okay, it's just sliding right out like this, okay. And it seems to be stuck in a little plastic case. Let's just pop apart, yes it does. Oh, there we go. There is the uh, secret circuitry within. Here's our little display. That's soldered on. There's two switches here. And okay, USB-C connector over here and uh, big cap there. This definitely looks like a power conversion circuit here with this coil, very suspiciously like that. Let me see if I can see anything on these uh, on these chips here. This bits here might be the the very thing that went, but it doesn't. It didn't blow up. There's no burn marks or anything like that. But let me let me look at this under the magnifying glass and let me see if that it gets it it attaches to the power pins of the USB C connector or not. All right. This is marked uh, GBG5E. I don't know what it is. I can't find that. But um, this pin of it here, right over there, is connected to um, this capacitor and connected to the USB-C. So it's the negative pin. All the power is going through this. Uh, so that could be the device that's dead. If I could find out what that is, I could try replacing that. This chip here is a ch 571F, it's the 32-bit uh, MCU, so that's the main controller device. This here is a CH224K, which is a, a USB power delivery decoy. So that's uh, that's the one that's telling the power supply what kind of voltage it, uh, it, it can get, and it's negotiating that back and forth. Yeah, some of these other devices here, I can't really tell what they are either. I know that these, uh, th these over here are 1 a.m. which are just like a general purpose transistor and this thing here is marked CA2C1S but it marked on the board as a, a transistor it's got Q2 there so I imagine that that is a, a big dual MOSFET for turning on and off the element and that's about it that's all she wrote yeah it would be handy if I could pick up one of these if, if anybody uh, looking at this knows what that device is let me know down in the comments maybe I'll try picking one up and see if I can replace it and I'll, I'll have another another iron and that's it for the teardown so now we know what's inside one of these now here's a little, a little bonus for you a little bit of mail came in from DigiKey so we're going to have a look at that this is proof positive that I do buy from other places other than AliExpress although AliExpress is recently been my favorite place to buy so let's uh, Let's dig into this and see what I got from DigiKey. I always like DigiKey's uh, packaging. It uh, makes great fire starters. 
All right, so right off the bat here, we can see that I got some transformers. Packaging a bit difficult to get into. All right. But this looks like uh, 6.3 volt center tap at 1.2 amps. And this is an F424. What is this here? F424, 24 volt center tap at quarter amp. And there's another one. This one's packaged completely differently. That was a pain in the butt. All right, what's this one here? This is a signal and 24 volts under tap, 12 VA, so it's a half amp. I think I got this instead of the triad. Yeah, the specifications are the same, but this one was uh, quite a little bit less money. All right, and the next rest of these things are uh, chips. So these are Max 680 CPAs, which are uh, charge pump chips. If you look at my last mailbag video, I got some of these from AliExpress. So what I want to do is compare them. Um, these, are, I only got a couple of them. You know, they're very expensive from DigiKey. They're about seven or eight bucks a piece. Well, I just wanted to compare them because I got those other ones from uh, AliExpress very cheaply. I think I got five of them for half that price or something. I'm dying to see the difference and I'll do a video on that. Uh, I want to do that shortly, so look for that coming up. And what do we have here? We have, okay, this is a different kind of uh, charge pump. It's a TL660CP and this is the one I was talking about when I, I talked about the Max 680s in the previous video. And I'll leave a link to that video up here. Yeah, I was talking about this. This is the one who takes in, a, it like it'll take in 5 volts to give you negative 5 volts, or take in 10 volts to give you negative 10 volts. So yeah, I've got one of these. Now, these are much, uh, much more reasonably priced at DigiKey. So I didn't bother getting them off of AliExpress. I may, uh, I may do a, a video on these as well. Okay, this is just a thing I got for experimentation. I just got one, and this is a 200 volt, 100 amp MOSFET. So that's just for playing around with. There it is, it's a big sucker. Yeah, that's a, that's a big device. You'd have a hard time trying to blow that up. Okay, these ones here, the CDS 19534KCS, or CSD is a uh, n-channel MOSFET 100 volt 100 amp I got a bunch of these uh, these are for an upcoming project which I've always already hinted to and some people have guessed at these are just a standard TO220 package but uh, look forward to those coming up when we uh, get into that project this here this is a max 7219 now, I normally get these off of, uh, you know, the last bunch I got, I got off of eBay. They work fine, but I thought I'd get one that I knew was a real one and try it out. So it, it, it's just a, an eight digit seven segment display driver and uh, quite a famous thing. I did a timer for my dog's dry eyes. I used one of these and I did a, a module around one. But I thought I'd get in a, a genuine one from DigiKey to see if it's any different. I don't think it is. I think the ones I got off of eBay were, uh, were pretty good. They've, they've served me good so far. And here we have another experimental MOSFET. So this one here is uh, an IRF 3415. And so it's 150 volt, 43 amp. And it's in the big TO247 package, like the other 200 volt one. Oh yeah, this is just for experimental purposes to see if I ever, if I ever need to do anything with higher voltages than I normally deal with. I have these around for that. And that's it. This is proof positive that I do buy from places other than AliExpress. All right, folks, that's all I had for you today. I really appreciate you coming out. I hope you got something out of this little teardown that we did. We now know what's inside one of these irons. 
very, very nicely made, by the way. I mean, look, they've taken some obvious care in putting this together. It's not just slapped together. Board is done very nicely. And it, it all fits together like a little jigsaw puzzle. Very, very nicely done. I've done some reviews on some of their stuff recently, and it's very, very well made. Their, their construction is second to none. Anyway, thanks a lot, folks, for coming on out. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.